Nutcracker in Harlem, written by T. E. McMorrow, illustrated by James Ransom. Look at Oliver and Barrett listening really nicely. The Nutcracker in Harlem. Oh, what's this? Car. Car. What color is it? Green. It's a big house. It's green, pink. Oh, look at all those buildings. And what's that coming down from the sky? Snowflakes. Snowflakes. Y'all get your... And the moon. Oh, wow. A lot of people gathering. It was snowing in Harlem on Christmas Eve. The party at Marie's house swirled with colors, gold and red and green. Mama and Poppy were dancing. Miss Addie sang and Uncle Cab played the piano. Marie loved the sound of Christmas. Do you see someone singing? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and I see someone playing musical instruments. People are laughing, dancing. Join in, Marie, Uncle Cab called out. Marie looked down. She wished she could sing. But Marie was afraid she wasn't any good. Certainly not like Miss Addie or Uncle Cap. The song ended. It was time for gifts. Every year, Uncle Cap would give Marie a doll and Freddie some toy soldiers. They were carved from magical wood. Uncle Cap always said, He handed Freddie his gift. And now, for my Marie, said Uncle Cap. A nutcracker! said Marie. A drummer boy nutcracker. Dum diddy dum dum dum. Put the nutcracker on his drum. Uncle Cab sang a tune to the beat of the little drummer. The room again filled with song. Everyone in the house was singing and dancing. Everyone except Marie. Where's Marie? Do you know which one's Marie? Look here. Yeah, this doesn't look like she's very happy. But she's holding a nutcracker. Hmm. Miss Addie knelt next to Marie. Will you sing with me, Marie? She asked. Marie shook her head. Maybe next time, Miss Addie said. Music lives inside everyone. You just have to let it out. After dinner, Marie took the nutcracker and a slice of sweet potato pie and sat by the Christmas tree. The lights were soft and twinkling. She lay down, closed her eyes, and fell asleep. Oh. Marie opened her eyes. The house had gone silent. Outside, it had stopped snowing. A full moon glowed in the sky, and the living room was filled with a glowing white light. Whoa! A rustling sound came from the top of the tree. What could it be? Mama had hung her favorite ornaments, the glass birds. It was almost as if the blue glass bird was moving. It was! The bird fluttered its wings and began to sing. Then the gold bird joined in. And the red one and the green one too. Whoa, Benji. As the song sang, the Christmas tree began to grow. It grew bigger and bigger until it lowered over Marie, towered over Marie. The ornaments, the presents, the dolls, and the soldiers grew too. Dum dee dum 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 dee dum. The Nutcracker played his drum. The toy soldiers and dolls danced around the tree as the bird sang on. <whistles> Crash! The music stopped. Candy canes, a voice squeaked. Marie turned. A mouse army, all in uniform, were marching towards the tree. A mouse general was leading them. His chest covered with shiny metals. Candy canes, he repeated. Marzipan and chocolate. Charge! 
Oh, look, it, you can see what broke. See the ornament that broke? What color is the ornament that broke? Mm. Oh my goodness, look at the soldiers are charging. That means running really fast. The nutcracker began to drum. Dum -de -de dum The toy soldiers lined up behind him. They marched towards the mouse army. The mouse turned and ran away. Then the entire army followed, all except the general. I want sweet potato pie, the general shouted. He ran, jumped, and knocked the nutcracker down. The drum fell to the ground. <laughs> then the drumming stopped. So did the toy, so the toy soldiers. The mouse army advanced again. Charge! The mouse general commanded. What could Marie do? What's Marie going to do, Benji? <gasps> she picked up the drum and put the strap over her neck. <gasps> dum -de dum The mouse army stopped, turned, and ran away. The general glared, but Marie kept drumming until he too fled. As the mice ran, they began to shrink, getting smaller and smaller. The toy soldiers chased the mice Ding. through the hole in the wall and into the snow outside. The glass bird sang as the soldiers returned. Marie joined the nutcracker in a dance. <gasps> they twirled and ran around, uh, uh, twirled around and around. They seemed to be on a cloud. It started to snow, but it wasn't cold. Marie closed her eyes and began to sing. Ah, ah, ah. Marie? She opened her eyes. It was morning. Did I miss Christmas? Marie asked. Of course not, darling, Mama said. Under the tree were Marie's dolls, the nutcracker, and something else, a drum. She picked up the drumsticks. Dum, dee, dum, 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 dee, dum. Very good, said Uncle Cab. He began to sing a Christmas song. Mama and Poppy and Miss Addie all joined in, and so did Marie. The yeah. end. And there's an author note. He was hired years ago as a stagehand for the Dance Theater of Harlem, the ballet company. The dance. And there's some information about the author, T.E. McMorrow, and information about the illustrator, James Ransom. And there are the soldiers, and the drum, people dancing, the saxophone, and there is Marie with the Nutcracker. That was a good story, Nutcracker in Harlem. Do you like the story?